Chris Ryder. How are you doing, mate? Got well, I'm glad I let you do the intros there. there. I wasn't so confident on the name there. I mean, I'm, t I'm fine with Tanvi. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you might give me that one, mate. Thanks for that. <laughs> it was uh, accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> So I watched um, I watched Tanvi play yesterday, and um, she was pretty clinical, to be honest. Like um, I like her, um, her forehand in particular. I think she's got a very sort of uh, like efficient style there. She's quite attacking. She actually controlled the pace yesterday, but when I've seen her play before, she's she's gone out and been a bit more aggressive in terms of the intensity. But it was nice to see a variation there. And uh, I haven't watched. Um, how do you say her name? Palamarukun. Ap Aparajita. Aparajita. Okay, yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's a, she's a little bit older. I remember her back, well, both of these girls from back in the junior days, and I've mm -hmm. seen Tambi a little bit more recently. Um, but yeah, Aparajita, she's very, pretty good with the racket. Um, so she, she's going to be wanting to be moved away from the tee and I think the last time I saw Tambi play you know a lot of balls ended up just coming back onto the front wall her retrieval skills were were pretty decent so it's going to be a tough match and should be a good one This is the only match of the day with two Indian players, isn't it? It's mostly India versus Egypt today, it seems. Yeah, so a definite guarantee quarter-finalist, which is, which is good for the home country. Semi-finalist, no? No, sorry, semi-finalist, yeah, sorry. That's a, it's a, it's a nice cross court, put it away, good drop shot and then followed it up well to to hit the cross court pass there. Yeah, that's, that's where she's good, you know, if you're going to leave the ball in that kind of middle area and around the middle of the court, you're going to find yourself to be to be punished. Yeah, some short rallies here to start off with, aren't they? Sort of exchanging shots. See if it develops into a bit more patient rallying. Yeah, it's, uh, let's see how this how this progresses. Down and down three four. It's a nice tight ball fading away into that backhand side. Yeah, so so far when she's when Tanvi has managed to get uh Aparajita off the tee, then she's forced an error, hasn't she, really? But anything loose has been punished, so gives her a pretty clear plan of what to do. Get her moving into those corners. Yeah, that's, that's a really nice little variation there on the volley. It looked like she was going to hit a straight backhand volley drop and then just changed it to a burst. So, yeah, you're, you're right. She's got to find those extremes of the court deep or into the front there. She doesn't really want to be leaving it anywhere around the middle or for Aparajita to have a good clean swing on the ball. 
And for Aparajita, she's got to try and force these loose balls there, where she's got that time to oh. find to find the shot that she wants, you know. I really like that shot, though, the way she cut across the inside of the ball, showed court, hit it straight. I mean, Tanvi was running across the cross court. Yeah. So she's got some yeah, skills she's when she's very... given time, isn't she? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, she's. that's the thing. She doesn't want to have that much time on the ball. That's a nice burst. That's that's the kind of shots that she wants to be hitting. Taking her all yeah, the way to the, the front of the court there. Yeah, she's used the boats quite a few times already, hasn't she? It's a great way to twist and turn and get people moving, and it's you know it's going in a bit quicker than those drops from the back. Yeah, it's a bit more reliable. And then there again, that's a great cross court, all the way into the back of the court. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, she, she, she looked like she hit her own leg then. Yeah, she got through <laughs> and then hit her own leg and then asked for a let. Well, we've all done that. Just pass it off as someone else's fault. <laughs> a little head shake to uh, get it down the wall. <laughs> yeah, well, it worked, didn't it? You know, it, it was did, a guaranteed yeah. stroke, that, <laughs> if she just stood there. Yeah. That, that's nice. That's where she's going to be clinical. So if you leave that ball anywhere in that kind of area, it's going to be make life hard for yourself. I like that serve as well, to be honest. You know, it shows people thinking, doesn't it? Just do something different, yeah. disrupt. Yeah. Add in a little bit of variation. It's a, good oh, drop. What a great camera angle that is as well. That's lovely to see the technique of, uh, you know, using uh, strings to cut around the side of the ball. Gone. That's a shame because she had a run of points there. She's good in the middle. That would have been nine all yeah, there. Came... A bit on her. Yeah, it just came out a little bit quick, didn't it? It just flew off the front wall almost. Uh, got it got it past the yeah. interesting first game see. yeah and actually quite close in scoreline wasn't it I mean that could have been nine all definitely she had an opportunity there Aprojita and uh, it's competitive I think yeah it's uh, I think yeah it's gonna be good you can see really what both girls want to do uh, so it's gonna be who can who can put the pressure on the most and get that ball where they want it. It's interesting to see our next two quarter finalists sat out the back there, both just chilling in their chairs. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. I mean, so uh, Mustafa El Serti in the middle there, so you can see him through the door, He's um, he's been sat there for the whole of the previous match and now this one as well. And his match is coming on next, potentially in yep. 20 minutes' time. He looks pretty chilled, doesn't he? Yeah, they're both. And then, you know, Kareem El Hamani is just on the right there. He looks like he's playing on his phone. Looks like he might, <laughs> if we've got him a, looks like he might fall over at any time there. <laughs> well, I think, um, you know, we'll let this uh, promo go on. <laughs> Back and we'll concentrate on a uh, match in hand. 
There are a couple of dodgy bounces there, aren't there? When when you hit a rolling nick off a straight drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a few, and just on that back of the box area. So, if you don't volley it or you let it get into that area, you know you're taking your taking your life into your own hands, really. That's a nice yeah, shot. Ni nice and yeah, nice and quick. That's where that's where she's done it well. Yeah, couldn't really be any other decision there. No, Tanvi just kept running into the swing, didn't she? There, she should have stopped. Yeah, should have probably just stayed on the left. Well, this is the sort of start that Aprojita needed if she was going to get back into this match. Yeah, positive. Positive from her, you know. She wanted to be... Oh, that's a good burst, that is. A really nice little trickle burst to the front. But yeah, she wanted those points that are on her racket and she's got that so far. And a good start to 3-2. I think she needs to keep going with the sort of hard hitting to the back and really put Tanvi on the back foot and then get her chances in the yep. middle of the court. Yeah, that's she's a good finish though. She's hit some good winners in that. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't want to be stuck in those back corners at all. There we go, there's that Nick. Great shot. Good shot. Yeah, nice little, you know, like a little bit of a serve and a volley combination. Like, really good serve, applying the pressure, and then on to the next shot. Yeah, a bit similar there. Not the serve wasn't as good as it was from the forehand box, but <laughs> still some some good little combinations going on. Oh. Almost fell over there in the oh. middle and then hits a great winner. Four, this is what she was great doing yesterday, is that clinical forehand. It's just, I, I do like the simplicity of her technique. It's just like straight up with her racket, there's control at the top of her swing. And then she's got a whole variety of options. Yeah, she, and that's yeah. She's played the last three rallies, perfect. Just three great shots, three three-shot rallies. seems to be that you know whoever can just force a loose one out the back is definitely going to be the one that's winning the rally here yeah it's all following the same pattern isn't it really and it's about initial quality into the back corners forcing a weak reply yeah and then just getting a that's a great look it's, it's how early she takes it and the, the sharpness on the burst which Means that Aparajit is just not getting there to cover that. No, that's a good return. Interesting, the ref just stopped just before she served there to tell her to stop 
time wasting. I didn't feel there was much time being wasted. <laughs> this has but, gone pretty quickly. Yeah. That was down, presumably. Yeah, uh, no. I don't know if that just spun off. Yeah. Right now. I was just questioning that. Yeah, I wasn't really sure. It looked like actually it went up. It like spun off. I don't know. It's pretty weird. I was gonna say so off, something but... wasn't good with it, was it? <laughs> yeah. It's almost like it came off the shaft rather than anywhere else, and then spun onto the front wall. Yeah. So here we go, game ball for a two love lead. Great pick up. But Tambi yeah, covers good. court well there, doesn't she? Yeah, she's she's a pretty good mover, you know, you got to expect that most of the balls are gonna be coming back with her. So if you just relax for that split second, you know, she'll be onto it and just clip it past you and that's not really it's not really what you want, you know. Once you've relaxed there, you've lost that little sharpness that you had, and and that's it. The ball's gone, really. Yeah, but another another competitive game. She Aprajita was nine eight up there, had a quite a yep. big opportunity. I don't really feel she committed to her shots at the back or her plan of attack, you know, to to really sort of up the uh, hitting speed, I suppose, up the up the intensity, um, but you never know, do you? I mean, we saw in the previous match like a, a wild yeah. swings of momentum, didn't we, from the second to third game? So you just never know, do you? And that was close. No, yeah, yeah, it was close. You're right. Oh yeah, we could. It's all going to be about a good start here again for Aparajita. See if she can get things going in her favour, and you know, if she can take a take control of the middle of the court then you know she could string together a few quick points if she can get a serve and a volley going you know she can string together another few points there so it's not over no nice to see El Certi starting his warm up and uh, El Hammer me putting his shoes on there as well they're obviously uh, yeah. thinking about their match coming up next All right here we go Yeah, that was nice. Oh, that was a good angle on that backhand volley cross court drop. She got it back with one of her own. Well, backhand cross got drop fest at the moment. That's three in a yeah. row. <laughs> a couple of taxis waiting. Yeah, some great shots going on in the front here. Yeah, that's a good burst, and it's, so far it's been really good from Tamvi, this game. Yeah, she just looks that little bit sharp movement, doesn't she? Like, yeah, she, I think that's. Oh, then. Yeah, she's just been a little bit though. quick. Yeah, she's been a little bit quick around the middle, but yeah, that you're right, tight ball and a little way back in maybe. Good extra power to the back, but she's done well to guide that burst into the front of the court. Yeah, to be honest, that was a she was under a lot of pressure there, and she managed to hit two wall attacking boats. It was dying into the side wall. I mean, that's it's not easy. Yeah, it's a great shot. 
She got a little bit close there at the end. She looked like she was going to take that drop before the third wall and then decided to let it come off the wall and ended up a little bit too close to it. Yeah, just misread that one. I really like that camera angle that shows just how much you have to really throw your body at the front of the court there to get the ball back when somebody takes takes it in quickly. Yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a good view for us to see to see Probably all that. Probably don't appreciate yeah. that enough watching it from here, where you know you can't see people's sort of expressions much, and uh, yeah. you can't see the sort of the, the contortions of your body, I suppose, as you uh, as you're chucking yourself into those front corners in particular. <laughs> yeah, there's a good drop again though from Tambi at the back. She's, she's looking good for her. Up to nine three, quickly racing through a couple more points. Well, she could she could have asked twice then. <laughs> once once before she turned and once after she turned. That, that would have been an interesting ref decision that one on a if she turned around and asked for a stroke. Yeah. Oh great great. Oh. Tambi just thought that was down, but going to continue anyway. Oh no, again. I can't believe that I've done that. Yeah. We've been treated to a lot of them in this game. Good winner, and yeah, and our first second woman's semi finalist there. Nice three love win for Tam Vikana. Yeah, it was uh, ultimately I was convincing in the third game after a couple of competitive games, wasn't it? And I just um, felt the the shorter rallies were always going to be a bit precarious for uh, Aprajita. You know, she needed to test her a bit more at the back of the court and, um, you know, physically put some work into her opponent. But she couldn't quite do that and so loses uh, three love in 22 minutes. Yeah, I agree with you there, Chris. That was, uh, that was, a, that was good good from Tanvi and uh, just not, not quite enough from Aparaj.